Hey there guys, this is Reckles and today we're halfway to summer. This is Reckles with One to Buy Gold, and today we're talking about the Midsummer Fire Festival and how to make gold with it. In a nutshell, stop being lazy and just go click on some bonfires. I know, I know, you don't want to do it again. It takes two hours to fly around and click on them, but as long as you aren't on a high pop, one of these pets will sell for 150,000 gold. That's 70k an hour. That's worth it. Just go do all the how things. Are you? But let's break down the specifics for those less familiar with everything. There are four pets available during the Midsummer Fire Festival in WoW. The Frigid Frostling is from the Daily Dungeon boss, uh, Frostlord Ahun, but he only sells for 15k. Uh, we're gonna focus on the battle pets from the Midsummer Merchant or the Midsummer Supplier. There are three pets available for 350 Burning Blossom each. Uh, learning Captured Flame, gives you the Spirit of Summer pet. This sells for 10K. You can also buy the Blazing Cinder Crawler, which sells for 30 to 70K. And the newer Igneous Flameling. This is the moneymaker. It sells for 50 to 150,000 gold right now. So these are what we're gonna focus on. There are four ways to get Burning Blossoms. First, there are some quests and dailies. Talk to this and that NPC, go turn into a crab in Ashenvale, throw a torch at some pillars. Uh, tip for that one, put the item on your bars so you don't have to click it in your bags for every torch throw. And also, there's the worst quest in the game, catching torches. Screw this quest, it can go to hell. If I zoom out all the way, I can see the torch, but I can't see the shadow of the torch on the ground to catch. If I zoom in, I can see the shadow, but is it my torch? Is it someone else's? Does it matter? I don't know. Oh look, I'm stunned. I... I don't do this quest anymore. It makes me angry. <laughs> you also have Frostlord Ahun. Uh, he gives you 20 burning blossoms on the first kill and an average of 10 every time you kill him after that in the daily sack. Uh, as far as the other Frost Lord Ahun loot, there's the Frost Scythe of Lord Ahun, uh, a really cool staff. There's the Illusion Death Frost, which is like a dripping icy weapon enchant, and an entry level cape. And then there's the pet. There's no super rare Love Rocket mount, uh, so you don't have to kill him every day for the two weeks of the Fire Festival. But if you do, you'll get 75 to 225 Burning Blossom. That's a nice bonus. The big thing, though, you should be doing with this holiday is bonfires. Every zone has a friendly bonfire that gives five Burning Blossoms and an enemy faction bonfire that gives 10. Uh, there's also neutral ones in Mop and Legion that give you 15. Uh, but my recommendation for Burning Blossom farming is just to download the add-ons Candy Buckets and TomTom. Tom. Candy welcome. Buckets is absolutely fantastic. It, it's, it's simple. It puts an icon on your map for any bonfires you still need to pick up. And if you click on the map icon with TomTom, Tom, it automatically creates a waypoint arrow that points you in the direction you need to go. It's really nice, it's easy. You could import a handy notes or like a, a paste list, but I don't know, I always mess those up somehow, this is just easier. It takes me about two hours to do them all. So just download the add-ons, put on a movie or a YouTube playlist and just fly around clicking everything. There's also stealing bonfires from the enemy capitals. These give you 25 each, but you can only do four. Uh, just fly in, avoid the aerial guards, click on the fire and bounce. Uh, it's a little sketchy, but you'll get the hang of it. Uh, here's a map for all of the stealing their flame locations. Hopefully this helps you out, makes it easier on you. So that's all the ways of farming it. It's a lot of fun. If you do this every day, you can get about 1500 burning blossoms, enough for four pets. If you just spend one day, though, out and about doing everything you can, uh, you'll get about a thousand, uh, which is enough for three igneous flamelings. So two hours of work can get you 150k to 450k worth of pets. I don't care who you are, that's good gold per hour. Uh, two final things before I go, though. Is it better to sell the pets now or hold on to them? Honestly, it's up to you. People buy holiday items a lot more actually during the holiday and especially early on during the holiday, but you'll also have more competition and prices will fall over the course of the two weeks. So if you need gold for a WoW token right now, buy the Cinder Crawler and the Flameling, sell them early on, uh, cancel scan often, repost or post 
you know, trademark them in trade chat. However, with BFA coming out and the free resub for returning players thing that Blizzard is doing, uh, we'll have some fresh blood in the economy, so they might sell better than they normally would later on. In that case, just get a bunch of flamelings, hold on to them for a couple of months, and then just post one at a time come Battle for Azeroth launch date. It, it depends on how badly you need the WoW token, and if you have like 30 pets because you're a crazy person who does this with 10 tunes. Also, fun little tip, uh, multitask. You can use these hundred or so campfire quests to level. Doing the full campfire route will get you a lot of XP. So do this on any tunes with flying that you're trying to level for Battle for Azeroth. I went from 106 to 108 on my mage. It wasn't like crazy XP, but it was really good. Uh, worth noting that spinning around the maypole does give you a 10% XP buff but this Need doesn't something? apply to quest turn-ins, only kills. See you around. Final tip, there will be some enemy players that camp and protect their bonfires. Uh, these players are just having a good time and hitting the first person they see. So, if you're undergeared, stand on the opposite side of the campfire from them, wait to res until you see them charge in and attack someone else, and then click the bonfire, mount up, and then turn in the quest after you mount. That's the fastest way to do these. Uh, so that is it. Remember that this is just a fun addition to the game. So RP with some flame themed toys, read all the quest text and just have a good time. Uh, subscribe for more guides, like the video to help it get seen. Other than that, have a great day guys. Good luck and happy gold making.